The World Health Organization recommends that uh, every country that has cases of multidrug resistant TB should have what we call an isolation ward. An isolation ward is a special ward where these patients are supposed to be admitted for the first six months. And why they should be admitted is to prevent new infections. Government uh, went and started renovating an existing ward at Kenyatta National Hospital. That was in 2008. To this day, even after spending over 40 million, the ward, which is only 15 bed capacity, is not yet complete. So instead of, because we don't have somewhere to isolate these patients, that's why they are still living with us. That's why we have to subject them to commuting every day. That's why we have to commit our, our nurses to be traveling to the homes of these patients to give them treatment. Why we get new infections is that these people are living with us, these people are traveling every day for treatment and exposing other people. You find that people are living like 10 of them in a very small house with very small windows or none at all. And if one person there is, is suffering from TB, then it is the rest are uh, very easily to, to catch the disease. Currently, we have a record of about 600 uh, recorded patients who have been diagnosed with um, multidrug resistant TB. Again, the problem is the same, poor adherence, okay? Poor living conditions. You have these patients who is suffering from multidrug resistant TB, living with the cousin and the brother and the sister and the mother in one house with no ventilation, they are breathing the same air. What is the result of that? New infections. We have these people traveling in these poorly ventilated, congested matatus. You can imagine somebody traveling from Kiambu, coming to Nairobi, in that enclosed matatu. It is cold somewhere in Kiambu. And so people do not want the windows to be opened. And this person is actually suffering from MDR. And they are coming to, to Kenyatta National Hospital for treatment. By the time the, the matatu gets to Kenyatta, definitely they will have infected a new person. Because again, people do not want the windows opened. So I say, again, poverty and lack of knowledge and again, stigma. Because it is recommended that somebody who is suffering from multidrug resistant TB should use a mask like this. This is what we call an N95 mask, okay, which is meant to reduce the chances of this person infecting another person. These people are supposed to wear these masks when they are traveling, even when they are going around their business in their houses. But who wants to be seen with a mask in Nairobi? Even you, if you see somebody who is wearing a mask right now, you are likely to ask yourself, why is, it this, why is this person wearing a mask? I mean, they feel stigmatized, so they avoid using these masks. This is simply because of lack of knowledge. If every Kenyan knew that the reason why this person is wearing a mask is to protect them, is to protect me and you, then you'd appreciate once you see somebody wearing a mask. And instead of looking at them, you know, and stigmatizing them, you'd actually appreciate them that, you even tell them, thank you for taking care of my health.